Hi everyone, many of you have asked me for English support, so I decided to do it. I want to apologize for all the mistakes I may have committed in the recording of the tutorial. I know most of the people in the world speak English, so welcome to this tutorial and I hope you to enjoy it. Bye bye! Hi everyone and welcome to my channel in YouTube. As you can see, this is my first English tutorial. You must know uh, most of my tutorials are in Spanish, so this is going to be my first one. Okay, having said this, I'm going to show you the exercise we are going to do for these basic steps on Corel Draw tutorials. So as you can see, there are so many colors here. We have a rectangle, with the same uh, sizes or dimensions. We have a row of 10 of this and we have this column. Uh, so we have 10 rows and 10 columns. This is going to be our um, first exercise. And we have this second exercise that we are going to learn how to draw these icons and how to set this image. So this is going to be very basic steps on Corel Draw tutorial. Um, and okay, we are going to start. Yeah, when you open the program, the software, we have this uh, menu here. So we just select new document and we name it. So in this case, I'm going to choose, for example, exercise one. And I'm going to do, um, we are going to work with square. Format. I'm going to pick 10 and 10 inch number of pages two in this case because there are two exercises and the primary color mode we are going to choose the REB which means red, green and blue. Uh, we let uh, the rest in untouch and we press OK. I'm going to teach you how to use um, the program in the basic form. So, if you have this uh, at the beginning, you must know that this first row of options is called menu bar, and this is almost uh, very common in different softwares, so you can learn how to use different options that menu bar offer to us by going forward in different tutorials. So this is a basic one, so you have to take it easy. Uh, the second one is the standard bar in which we can save it, copy, uh, do undo, redo, and do different kind of things that are very familiar with other programs. And there are standard um, tools we are going to use. The third one is this property bar. Uh, and this bar is going to change, depends on the options or tool we select in this toolbox that it is here we have, of course, this status bar that indicate us uh, some other features like the outline features, for example, or the position of our mouse in the screen. The last is this uh, color palette we have in the right uh, side of uh, our screen, our screen, and is going to be the colors we are going to use. We are going to use in our documents or projects. Um, okay. So this uh, template, I'm going to upload it to my blog. So I'm going to uh, write in my description box the link that uh, you can use to uh, download this image. So we are here right now. So this is the document as default. And to do the first exercise, that is this one, we are going to start by going to the toolbox and clicking F6 or this rectangle tool. So we do click here and after that or before that we need to uh, go to snap to and select these three options guidelines, objects and page. This is going to be useful because uh, this is going to help us 
to assembly uh, and to have control of our design, just like in AutoCAD. So you can see, for example, in this exercise. So we select this rectangle tool, we keep pressing, click, and uh, Control and Shift keyboard in the keyboard. So we have this effect, and we just release them and select this value with this option selected one inch and then here we go so we have a square okay so if we can notice i can just pick this by doing click in the corner and then we can um, release it here this is important because we are going to be sure that the design is going to be set in the place we want. So in this case, uh, the object is in the, right, in the left up corner of our page. So the next step that we are going to do is to duplicate it. So you just need to press Ctrl D or duplicate. So you can do this and object is duplicated. Normally, you can go here to the options or Ctrl J and in the document in general, you can see you have another values here. You can find that maybe in your software there are a different values, so you can pick uh, or choose zero value, for example, for me. But if you want to uh, uh, keep your value of uh, offset, you keep uh, you can keep it. So in my case, I want it to have zero value. Okay, so we press OK, and then. We just press Ctrl D and we grab it from this corner and release it to this one. And we do nothing right now. The next step we need to do is to just press Ctrl D again and again and again. Because Coral Route remember the last step we just did. So um, we need to take advantage of that to save uh, a little bit of, of time. And this is just a case that this is going to be very helpful for us. So, okay, we are going to fill them with a color. So we have this uh, palette color here. And then we are going to do that. We have two options to give it the color. The first one is to drag the color directly to the element, as you can see. Or you can select first the element and then go to the palette and choose your color. So we are going to repeat this in order to gain time. So you can see it's very, very, very easy to do. Again, again, here, here, here. Okay, okay. So we have our first row. As you can see, um, we have an outline here. So we need to remove it by selecting all and then going to this uh, palette and clicking with right click here and it disappeared. Okay, so the next step is to duplicate it with Ctrl D and we drag from this to here and release. And then we do nothing but pressing Ctrl D again and again and again. So you can see we have this result. But we need to fill the rest of the page. So the thing we are going to do is to select them all, duplicate it with Ctrl D and drag from here to here. Okay, so here we have this. And the next thing we have to, the next step that we are going to do is to select these ones and delete it. And of course with these ones. Okay, you can do it uh, by removing it from your keyboard, okay? So, uh, we have our first result, okay? Just like the example. So, okay, the next thing we're going to do is this one. It's very, very easy. So, um, we are going to select them all. We are going to copy, for example, right click and copy, okay? We're going to go a page with a plus in the center click here and then we are going to click right click and paste uh, we do click uh, in this one 
to remove the color and then right click to this one to add the outline. The next we are going to do is to do right click and lock the object because this is going to be our mesh to reference and to set our icons. So to start doing that we go to the toolbox here uh, at the right at the left and select this F7 or ellipse tool and do the same thing so we go here in this one in the middle of this big square and go to the center and pressing the click and shift and control so we can change the side proportionally and go to the midpoint and then we are going to choose 20 points value for this circle okay so as you can see in the example this is going to be in these um, positions so to do that we only need to duplicate it with ctrl D and then we set it here and we do nothing but again duplicate it with ctrl D by pressing ctrl D on our keyboard ctrl D ctrl D so it is done and we do the same thing with the rest of the icons so the next one is a triangle so to do a triangle we go here and we are going to select this polygon or Y we are going to choose a three sides polygon and then we do the same exactly thing as we did with the circle so we release it we can fill it with another color remove it the outline and select the center and setting in this center in this node okay so we are going to duplicate it and do exactly the same thing ctrl d and ctrl d and the next is ctrl d but this is going to be here okay okay the next one is the heart the heart is going to be in this toolbox basic shapes the heart we choose it and we do exactly the same thing we can it's up to us to choose the size of this heart we choose this uh, color remove the outline and again control D control D and okay and control D but it's going to be okay here and then control D and we set it here the next one is okay we're going to be here again and select the start icon or tool and we can choose in this case for the exercises five point start so we go here and with shift and control and holding it with pressing uh, with our mouse release it fill it with yellow remove it remove the outline okay and we can pressing ctrl D and again do the same thing ctrl D because it's going to be here so ctrl D ctrl D ctrl D okay and the last one is a pentagon that is going to be here again the polygon with Y and we select five sides because it is a pentagon so we are going to set it in here and we'll do exactly the same thing we can fill it with this purple and I'll remove this uh, outline and okay we we'll do the same thing but here Control D it's going to be here Control D Control D and it is done so this first exercise is done as you can see we can export this as an image and use it in other programs for example for uh, to Sony Vegas and we uh, the thing we need to do is to select them all and you can see in this bar in this menu you can import and export so we select export and I recommend you to use the PNG extension to preserve the transparent background okay so we select a name we select a name 
this case I'm going to choose uh, 2 in this case and click in export and here you can see this menu and you need only to do OK and let this set by default and the image is going to be export as you can see here so this is my first English tutorial I hope you can enjoy that and understand and I'm trying to get used to it uh, I understand plenty of the English but sometimes to express yourself is a little bit complicated so I'm just trying to to do it in the best way I can so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this tutorial uh, be aware of more of uh, these tutorials in the future don't uh, forget to visit my channel and watch my other videos and of course to visit my blog, my personal blog and my social networks. So uh, we'll see you in the next time. So bye bye and thanks.